Experiential consumption is the act of looking for and enjoying memorable and emotionally satisfying events. It is an important part of human life. People actively seek out experiences that bring them joy, happiness, and memories that will last a long time. This includes going to concerts, traveling to faraway places, and eating at gourmet restaurants. But people don't only make decisions about their experiential consumption based on outside forces or societal trends. Instead, a person's unique personality is the most important factor in how they make choices and what they like. In this video, we'll look at the interesting relationship between personality and experiential consumption. We'll look at how different personality traits affect the kinds of experiences people look for, how they interact with these experiences, and how they affect their overall happiness. Understanding Experiential Consumption Before we get into the complicated link between personality and experience consumption, let's first talk about what it means to consume experiences. The acquisition of intangible experiences that stimulate one's feelings, emotions, and intellect is at the heart of experiential consumption, which is frequently contrasted with material consumption. These experiences include things like going on trips, going to live shows and sports games, and having fine dining, spa treatments, and cultural festivals. Experiential consumption is driven by the desire for fun, personal growth, and making memories that will last a lifetime. The Role of Personality Personality is a complicated mix of traits, features, and patterns of behavior that make up a person's unique mental makeup. Psychologists have come up with many ways to understand and classify psychological traits. One of the most well-known is the five-factor model, which is also known as the Big Five. Openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism, O-C-E-N, are the big five personality traits. Now let's look at how each of these traits affects experience consumption. Openness to experience. People who are very open are usually curious, artistic, and willing to try out new things and ideas. They are more likely to look for unusual and different things to do, like trying foreign foods, learning about other cultures, or going to avant-garde art shows. Openness makes people more willing to try new things, which makes them more open to experience consumption. Conscientiousness. People who are conscientious are organized, pay attention to details, and have self-discipline. They might do a lot of planning and preparation for their experiential consumption, like studying places, making detailed plans, and making sure everything goes well. Carefulness can improve the general quality of an experience by making it less likely that something will go wrong with the logistics. Extroversion. People who are more outgoing enjoy being around other people and often look for opportunities to do things with other people. They might like concerts, parties, group trips, and sports games where they can meet new people and share in the fun. The social sign of experience consumption can be boosted by extroversion. Agreeableness. People who are high in agreeableness are usually kind, willing to work with others, and care about their well-being. They might put an emphasis on family vacations, volunteering as a group, or going to neighborhood events. Agreeableness can make you like things that make people get along and make relationships better. Neuroticism Neuroticism is linked to having unstable feelings and being sensitive to stress. People with high neuroticism may be more careful about their experiential consumption decisions and avoid settings that could make them anxious. To get rid of worry and anxiety, they might choose something relaxing, like a spa retreat or a trip to the woods. Personality and decision-making. It's important to remember that personality traits don't live in a vacuum. They affect each other and can change how a person decides what to do when it comes to experiential consumption. For example, someone with a lot of openness and extroversion might look for exciting group travel, while someone with a lot of conscientiousness and agreeableness might plan a very well-organized family trip. Also, a person's amount of extroversion and agreeableness can affect whether they prefer to do things alone or with other people. Impact on well-being The decisions that people make about experiential consumption can have a big effect on their overall happiness and well-being. Studies have shown that events are more likely to bring lasting happiness than things. The emotional and mental benefits that come from having memorable events help people feel fulfilled and happy.
The way a person's personality affects their consumption of experiences can either help or hurt their well-being. For example, people who match their events to their personality traits are more likely to feel like themselves and to be happy with their lives. On the other hand, trying to fit in with what other people want or picking experiences that don't fit with who you are can make you unhappy. Also, knowing how personality traits interact with experiential consumption can help people make choices that are best for their health and happiness. This self-awareness can help you look for and enjoy events in a more purposeful and satisfying way. Practical Implications Realizing that there is a link between personality and experience consumption is useful for both people and businesses in many different fields. Here are some important points. Tailored Experiences Service providers like travel agents, event planners, and hospitality businesses can give experiences that are tailored to different personality types. For example, they can make adventure packages for people who are very open or health retreats for people who are very nervous. Personalized recommendations, travel and entertainment recommendation algorithms can take personality traits into account to make more tailored ideas. This can make users happier and get them more involved. Self-reflection. Thinking about your mental traits can help you make better decisions about your experience consumption. This can make life more fun and give you more happiness. Improved marketing. Businesses can make marketing efforts that speak to people with certain traits. This can help bring in customers who are more likely to enjoy the events being offered. In the end, when it comes to experiential consumption, a person's personality traits have a big impact on their tastes, decisions, and experiences. The relationship between personality and the search for meaningful events is a fascinating area of study that keeps changing as we learn more about how people act. Recognizing how personality affects experiential consumption not only helps us learn more about how people act, but it also gives businesses and people who want to maximize happiness and satisfaction through the pursuit of unique experiences useful tips. In the end, the connection between personality and experiential consumption shows how unique each person is and how much it affects the choices we make as we try to find satisfaction and happiness.